this is this is a tutorial on how to download Championship Manager 4, Championship Manager 0304. I'm on the My Abandonware website. Um, it's got a lot of old retro games on there. So basically, you just you need to hit the download button, download ISO version. I've obviously got the patches there as well for you to download after you've installed the game. So we hit download, and then it will start downloading there. The file which is in there called CMO304 it will look like that it's an ISO file you just drag that onto the desktop you've got to make sure you've got burning or ISO software on your PC so you don't need a CD or you can burn it to a CD whichever way you want to do it and then you just double click on the you just double click on the image I've already installed it so it's not going to let me do the full setup but then you press setup exe it's a little blue computer icon within the file and then you just press yes and then it will go to the setup screen for you as you will see in a second because I've already got it installed it will take give it 20 30 seconds be patient because it will it does pop up eventually and if it doesn't give it a bit of control or delete just press task manager see you just press control or delete because sometimes it just gets stuck on the newer versions of Windows my one says modify, repair, remove, but your one will say run run the setup, run installation, because you haven't got it installed already. Okay, yep, it's been installed. Basically, all you need to do now is go to C drive. You need to go to program files. If you don't know how to get to C drive, you click up, you go to your start menu. And there's a little tab there, looks like a bit of paper, your documents, just click that. And then scroll down, you've got your C drive there. You need to hit program files times exe 86. And I've got both CM4 and CM0304 installed on the, on the PC. So it's not CM4, it's the other one. If you need to go to the EDOS folder, double click 0304. And on this tab here, the layout file, you want to right click on it, properties, and go compatibility and run it with Windows XP Service Pack 2 or Service Pack 3, either one's fine. And then tick, if it hasn't been ticked already, tick run this program as administrator, hit apply, press OK, and then the game will load up for the first time. Do you want to allow your unknown publisher to make changes to the device? Hit yes. And then you've got to give it 10, 20 seconds again because it's just the, a lot of the old software, just when the newer versions of Windows take its time for it to uh, read it. But this one, it was only five, so around five seconds and then you're in the game. I hope this helps. Um, any questions, leave it in the comments. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do my best to answer you, but it's pretty self-explanatory i was just doing it for people that didn't know maybe where to get the download or or had problems but the main thing is you've got to make sure you've got your iso software so i use demon tools Lite, which is a free download i'll just show you one here sometimes you don't even need to drag your f if if it doesn't automatically let you double click on it just mount it on the just drag it into the demon tools light and it would automatically mount for you so all you do is drag it in there and it will mount let go and it will mount and then you just double click on it in there and it'll give you the same setup option that's all that's all it does um, okay so we're in the game and it's as simple as that quick game yes anyway thanks for watching